All right, so I'm going to show you how to edit a wall and its features. So I'm going to select the wall and I'm going to go over to the wall type and I'm going to click edit type. Once I'm in the type properties, now what I really want to do is duplicate this wall because any changes I make to wall one are going to change every wall one from here on. So I duplicate this and I'm going to call it something relative to what I'm doing like shed exterior wall. Now I'm going to go in and I'm going to edit this structure. So what you see are our boundaries and our exterior side and our interior side. Really what we should do is above this core boundary we put all of our finishes for the exterior like brick and siding and below this core boundary would be our drywall and our paint. So for this the only thing we're really going to add is going to be a sheet of plywood on the outside uh, or you know bricks whatever you may want. Uh, sure we'll do bricks on the outside and we'll do plywood on the inside. Our bricks also have to go on to a sheet of plywood or OSB. So I'm going to move a few of these around. I'm going to select that layer, move our interior plywood down. I'm going to move our bricks up, plywood up. Now we got to set these into their functions, their materials, and their sizes. So the function of that exterior will be a finish. This will be a substrate. Okay, that is our structure. That'll be our stud, and then this will be a finish two. So finish one we're gonna make bricks we're just gonna say those are three inches our substrate we're gonna make that 7 16 inch OSB and we're gonna do the same thing on the inside okay so there's our thicknesses now the only thing we need to go in and change are our materials so you can't see it but when I click on material we get this little box with three dots so I click on that little box and now I come out to my materials I want to create new material, so I'm going to create a new material and I'm going to call this brick. So I'm going to right click on that, rename, I'm going to call that brick. Now I can go out and edit its properties by opening this asset browser. So when I click on this, I can come out into all these different libraries and I'm going to choose, say, this one for example, go down to masonry, brick, and choose a kind of brick I would like. I'm going to load this in by hitting these double arrows, cancel out, yeah that's what I want, apply, okay. So now we have brick and just for giggles I'm going to go in make a new material. I'm going to call this uh, OSB, oriented strand board. That's going to be like the plywood type material I use. Um, now I'm going to open the asset browser, appearance library, wood, panels and let's see if they have uh, they don't have OSB so we'll just go into plywood we'll add that in and I'm gonna change this then since it's plywood I'm gonna call this plywood okay I hit apply I hit OK now I have plywood I'm gonna actually create this one in plywood as well so now we hit OK. Membrane layers. Here's your, oh, our stud layer. Our studs are three and a half inches. And we forgot to make those wood. So create new material. Right click. Rename. I'm going to call this stud layer. Edit this. Go down to wood and we can just do like a yellow pine. Oops. All right, hit OK. <laughs> now we're good, hit OK. And when we look at this, especially from a 3D view that has realistic colors, you can see our bricks.